Neil, when you've had a result like the one at the weekend, how handy is it to have a game straight away? It's it's essential that we that we um, get another game we and we get Saturday out of our system. Um, it would be wrong to um, try and sweep a bad result and performance under the carpet. I don't think you can do that, and I'm not here to pull the wool over people's eyes. Um, but you have to get on with the next game. Uh, we have to try and put those, you know, faults, put them right, and we've we've got to get on with um, obviously the next game. But um, it's a very disappointing sad day, very difficult day. Um, certainly, I didn't see that coming in the way we started the game, in which we were playing in the first half, the way the way we started the second half. But individual errors, um, really bad errors, and uh, and then a a really poor 20 minute spell, um, as poor as I've seen probably since I've been a manager. I would say. Uh, manager at any level, I thought uh, for 20 minutes we were uh, it was unacceptable. It's hard to then say that um, the other part of the game was was okay because you, people are only going to focus on the score, which is they've got every right to do. To do. But having said all that, um, we've got to get on with the next game. What kind of a character test will it be for the squad this week? Well, I think um, you know the. The players who've made mistakes have to be, you know, have to be brave. They've got to make sure that they they cut out those mistakes because, you know, you, you can't you can't legislate for a, a number of errors. But um, you know, if you got one error in a game, but to get sort of four that lead to goals in the same game is is you know it's not something that you you usually get. But the players have got to they've got to, have to show the character now because they're up against it. Uh, in terms of um, needing a result, they're up against it. In terms that in a relegation fight, and they're also got a uh, a public that de demands a lot better than they've been getting, and they've got to, you know, they've got to get those on board, and that's that's not going to be easy because uh, the supporters obviously demand a, a lot better than what they're getting at the moment. Ten yellow cards for Anthony Kay, resulting in a two-match ban. How big of a miss will he be? Well, I think um, you know we've all got opinion of players, and supporters have all got opinions of players. But um, you only have to look at Saturday. Um, might not have been having a, a brilliant game, but when he was off the pitch, it certainly hi highlighted um, without him and Tongi on the pitch um, a lack of um, leadership and uh, know-how. I would say in that central area, I thought we were a bit like headless chickens. For the last 20 minutes, and that's probably one of the reasons why, yeah, players might be, you know, at the back end of their careers, but they've still got um, a lot to offer in terms of know-how. What's the latest with Luke Hannant? Um, he got a knock on Saturday early on. He did well to continue in the game, but it's obviously one of those which they, they take time. You need time to try and get the player, you know, fit. Um, so we've just got to try and leave it as late as possible, but he's obviously a big doubt for, for tomorrow's game. When you look at the job that you've inherited here, how tougher is it than you thought it might be? Um, I think I knew it was going to be a tough job. Um, I think I'm at a stage now where we've won as many games as we've lost since I've been here, which at the time I would have certainly taken, but because we did exceptionally well in December, then it's left everyone disappointed including myself and I'd have to say that um, you know if the results that we've had lately were magnified um, sorry not magnified but if they were repeated then um, I'd be like any other manager and you'd be talking to somebody else at the end of the season because um, we were all based on results and um, this last month or since since the start of the year has not been good enough and um, at the end of the day, you can make excuses um, for whatever reason, but um, and, and people, like I've always said, there'll be people who like me, people who dislike me, and they'll always find, you know, a, a, a reason to 
to have a, a positive or neg negative against you, but um, I'm in charge and and the responsibility lies with me. Um, and it hurts when we're not getting results. It's certainly been a really difficult time since um, the turn of the year. Certainly hasn't been enjoyable and um, it's only going to change by us getting a win. You say you're in charge. Are you still learning as you go along? I think you'd be uh, very naive to say as a manager you don't learn because every manager learns. You're always learning about players. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, you may be forming an opinion, but you're forever learning about players, what they can and what they can't do. Um, but you always learn. The day you think that you know everything, you might as well you know, call it a day. We all learn in football and, um, like I say, Saturday it wasn't an enjoyable experience, but you, you do learn. You learn about players and, um, as I say, you've got to try and take on board anything that you can, you know, with days like Saturday, which are obviously very difficult. And finally, Exeter away was one of the best results of the season. What are you expecting from Exeter at home? Well, as I say, I mean, I, I just we've all been in football long enough. Nobody could have predicted the outcome of Saturday from from a one-one scoreline where we were. I think we were on the front foot to giving away a terrible goal right on half time, and then collapsing after the third. Well, giving a really bad third goal away and then collapsing. So you, you never know what's around the corner from football. All all I have to do is I have to try and, and maintain the players' confidence. Um, I have to give them some belief so that they can go out on Tuesday night and put in a good display. That's going to obviously give them a chance to get three points. We we said it from the, the first day I came in, we need everybody playing to their maximum and you've got to cut out the individual errors to give you any chance of winning games at this level.